Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. I've got a very fun and unique episode of The Brandon Boyd Show today. But before we get going, if you do find this video helpful or entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. And if you are a fan of receiving the latest information on credit cards, points of miles, travel money, and everything in between delivered in a fun and fast-paced format, then watch as the subscribe button and the notification bell set in the basement of their parents' house to record their hit television show. Today's episode is going to be really interesting, mostly because I don't know how it's going to end up. I have no idea what the end of this video is going to look like, but I'm going to take you on the ride with me as I call and try to get a retention offer on one of my American Express cards. For those that are new to points and miles, let me break down what a retention offer is. It's pretty simple. Every year that your annual fee comes due, you have a decision to make. You can either cancel the card, you can product change the card, or you can keep the card. However, if you are going to keep the card, I would always call to ask for a retention offer, and that is where you call or you chat with either your representative for American Express or Chase or whomever the issuer is, and say, what will you give me to keep this card open? What is the incentive for me to keep it? In my case today, I'm going to be calling for a retention offer on the American Express Hilton Aspire card. Now, I'm a big fan of the Hilton Aspire card, but it does come with a $450 annual fee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call American Express. You're going to listen in on the entire call. I have no clue how it's going to go. And I'm going to ask American Express what incentives they have for me to keep this card open. Because after all, I've got platinum cards, I've got gold cards, I've got cards galore, and they've all got annual fees. So poor little me, huh? Maybe I don't need to pay this annual fee anymore, right? In all honesty, I want to see if they're going to offer me any points or anything to keep the card. We'll see how it goes. They may come back with an argument like they do with the Marriott Bonvoy Business Card where they give away a free night certificate every year and say, hey, we already give you a free night certificate. Go away. We're not giving you an incentive to keep the card open. That may happen. I have no idea because this card does have a lot of benefits. This is not going to be a full review on the Hilton Aspire card by any means. This is simply a retention offer video. You can check the description for my previous video where I detailed the Hilton Aspire card. But I think we just get into it. I'm going to take you all the way from dialing the phone number to seeing what kind of offers we can get. And hopefully by the end of the video, we have a little incentive to keep this card open, all right? Let's see how it goes. Now, before we get going, it is important to note that today is December 1st when I'm recording this. My annual fee of $450 did hit on November the 11th. And it's important to know that if you plan on keeping the card and trying to use any kind of leverage to keep the card open, don't pay your annual fee before you call for a retention offer, all right? That's not a good idea. It just puts you at greater risk of not getting a retention offer. So make sure that you call for the retention offer after it hits your account, but before your payment is due to actually pay for that annual fee. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I've got my everyday carry wallet here, and I keep the Hilton Aspire card in my wallet uh, every single day. I think it's a great card again. And if you've watched my What's in My Wallet video, you know that I carry this card every day. There's a number on the back of the card. I'm going to see if that's the correct number to call because uh, the numbers do change sometimes for these retention offer lines or reconsideration lines. So I'm just going to call the number on the back of the card. Let's see what happens. I'll try to get customer Welcome service. American Express and Hilton Honors card number. Please tell me in a few words how I can help you. Customer service. I need a bit more information to properly route your call. Please tell me in a few words how I can help you. Customer Hello, service. Much. Please say or enter the last four digits of your social security number. For faster service, what's your card number? All right, one moment while I look at your account. While you wait for a customer care professional, I can quickly provide you with your account summary, which includes your balance and when your payment's due. Would you like to hear that now? No. This call may be reported. Great. We are connecting you to a customer care representative but apologize that you will experience longer than normal wait times. Our online chat representative, mobile and web services may be a faster alternative at this time. Hi, good afternoon. This is Abby with American Express. See you're calling in on your account there, Ms. Boyd. How can we assist? I'm doing really well. Um, I'm recording the call as well. I know I'm being recorded too, but uh, I always like to keep record of all these. Um, I currently have the Hilton Aspire card, and my uh, annual fee hit, I believe, on November the 11th if I'm correct, and the annual fee is $450. Um, I'm just trying to debate on how this fits in with my overall card portfolio because I do have other cards with high annual fees like the Platinum and 
um, okay. gold cards, the, the business uh, platinum cards as well, and the annual fees are kind of stacking up on me here <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, and, gotcha. and basically gotcha. what, okay. what I'm trying to figure out is, uh, you know, before I pay this annual fee, is there any, um, like, incentive or retention offer in keeping this card? Um, I just need to know what I'm working with here so I can make a solid decision on it. Uh, I hope you can understand you where I'm coming it. from. Um, what I could do, let me get over to the cancellation unit for it since it is something that you're debating on keeping or not. So okay. I'll get them on. They may have some options for you. Okay. So just hang on her tight. They'll be on to help you out with your request on this uh, Hilton Honors Inspire card. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, sir. Just as an update, uh, when I first called in, it's been five minutes on the call now. So just so everybody kind of knows where we're at. It's been about five minutes uh, up to this point, just so you know how long it could take for this process to work. Now, the other option is to do it on chat as well, and we have gotten retention offers on chat. So keep in mind that is an option if you don't want to wait on hold. But again, a call is so much more dramatic. All right, we've hit the 10 minute mark. This is getting a little longer than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> Do you ever notice the cancellation lines are always the longest holds, by the way? Like, if you want to cancel, let's say, your satellite service or something like that, the line or the wait time to cancel something is always super long. I wonder if it's a conspiracy. So while I'm still on hold here, here's something I'm thinking about. Um, let's say that they offer me something. What would I take to keep the card open? Well, I already told you, I'm going to keep the card open regardless, all right? So that's not a question. I'm just going to, you know, pretend or, you know, tell them what other cards that I have that have high annual fees and that this one is really just killing me. You know, it's pushing me to my breaking point. I don't know what to do. So if they can offer me some Hilton points or just some kind of points for a very nominal, for a very nominal, if I could talk, spin, then that would probably be okay, all right? So that's what I'm shooting for. Let's see how it goes. I'll take a few extra points for something that I was going to do anyway. Why not? Um, basically what I'm running into, uh, my annual fee hit, I think, on November the 11th or somewhere around that time. And it's got a $450 annual fee and I've got, um, you know, some other American Express cards that have high annual fees. Um, you know, the business gold, business platinum cards, personal platinum. And, you know, when annual fee time comes around, it makes you reevaluate kind of, uh, you know, your card portfolio and, and what you need. I guess my question would be, is, is there any type of incentive or retention? Um, I don't know what you call it, like a retention offer, or retention bonus, um, to help offset some of the costs because it's starting to add up a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just trying to justify um, the annual fee. You know, when it's stacked up with my other cards. Understandably so. You're right to reevaluate. Absolutely. Um, so with your Aspire card, though, of course. This one does, while it is 450 annually, it does come with $600 in statement credits every year as well. Has something changed with your use to where you're not getting that full value? Um, I mean, I get uh, some value out of the card, um, but it's just, you know, it's stacking up with my other cards where it's becoming the issue. Um, you know what I mean? It's, I think all the cards have some sort of intrinsic value in them or, or people wouldn't get them. What I'm running into is just how it's placed next to some of my other cards and the annual fees with those. Uh, it's just starting to add up. So I'm considering, you know, just reevaluating the number of cards that I have. Uh, do I need this many accounts? I don't know. But, um, you know, before I made any drastic changes where I canceled the card, um, I wanted to check one more time uh, before I did that to see if there was any kind of, um, you know, incentive or anything to keep it open. You know, we're, we're good card members. We or I, I should say, I'm, you know, pretty good card member, never had a late payment. Gotcha. Well, yes, yeah, because I definitely do ask, is even just having, you know, if you do have any stays with the Hilton coming up, those are the credits that would be open to you to utilize, which, of course, with it being 500 is over the cost of the card. Sure. So if you are utilizing it, um, you would actually stand to make a small profit over the cost. Yeah, uh, unless you're seeing some type of like reduction. Yeah, well, that's what I'm I'm trying to figure out right now with you know kind of the world in its state that it is right now. Um, a lot of the travel that we want to do, we may not necessarily be doing um, in this upcoming year. Um, so that's you know we're trying to play 
everything here. We're trying to figure out, you know, what our plans are, what we want to do, what realistically we can do. And we don't know what our travel is going to look like over the next 12 months. Um, but I'm sure you understand kind of where I'm coming from there. Um, we just don't know. And right. that, that's a lot. It, yeah. It's a lot to, that yeah, that, that's basically where I'm coming from on that. Completely. Um, if it was normal use, then you know you're going to recoup the cost. But since you're not sure of exactly what's going to happen, because it is, I understand, that they're still completely up in there with travel, that's certainly going to be a factor to see if you get the full value out of it. Sure. For sure. Um, so with this, if it does help um, concerning the factors um, with the, the fee and getting the full use out of it, I do have the ability to actually set you up with our most lucrative loyalty offer as it pertains to your account, which would consist of an additional $300 statement credit upon you just spending 3000 in the next three months. That would account for the majority of the cost of the card, still leaving you access to the benefits and the features. Okay, so what would can you just explain what the statement credit would be? Just so I, uh, how would that be used, or how I just want to make sure I understand. Uh, is it a credit oh, for any so stays, or or right, what so do you mean? So it's just a straight three hundred dollars statement credit, so it can be used, utilized however you would like, um, but it'll go towards the balance on your account. Okay, so and when would that apply? Just I, I'm just not familiar with how that works. I want to make sure I understand. I think I understand what you're saying there, but are you saying that it's something that would hit after I pay my annual fee? Oh, so, so what this is going to do, so this is actually a completely separate thing for the loyalty offer. Um, so you'll still actually see, of course, the fee for the card separately. Sure. Right. But what this does is it gives you the opportunity to earn that $300 statement credit once you uh, spend 3000 in the next three months. Um, as soon as you hit that 3000 and spend, as long as it's within the three months, it could be anywhere within the three months, even if you hit it in the next three days. <laughs> that okay. starts the time frame for that credit to hit, in which case the max amount of time it could take is a 12, uh, excuse me, an 8 to 12 week window from the date you actually hit the threshold. Okay, and then, um, so that would just hit my account and for, I'm just throwing out something, for example, if I had um, a three thousand or three thousand, a three hundred dollar balance on my statement one month, and then that credit hit, that would bring my statement balance down to zero. Is that correct? Right, and then vice versa. If you had a zero dollar balance, you would still get the three hundred dollar credit, and you could charge against it, request a refund. It would just show as a credit, if you, even if you didn't. Okay, I got it. That that makes sense. Well, that does help. Um, especially with you know all the uncertainty right now uh, around things i think that is tremendously helpful um you know it essentially brings my annual fee from 450 down to 150 uh, which is helpful because again it's it's one of those cards where you know we may get the full value of it out of it uh, this upcoming year we may not um so having some flexibility is is very very helpful so with this i hope so to get us started, I'll need to share some further terms of the loyalty offer itself, get your consent to activate it at the end, and of course, if at that point you have any questions, of course, just let me know. There we are. Perfect. So that was successfully activated. So from this point on, any expenses that hit your account are going to go ahead and count towards that spend threshold, any normal purchases. But that is all set. Perfect. Alrighty, now while I have you though, was there any other questions that come to mind regarding that or anything else I could check on today for you? Uh, no, not at this time. Uh, you've been very helpful. All right, my friends, that is how you do a retention offer, okay? My annual fee for the Hilton Inspire card, which is, again, was a card I was going to keep anyway at $450 per year. I was able to get a $300 credit on my statement after I spent $3,000 in three months. That shouldn't be a problem. I've got a lot of spend coming up for home projects. Not a problem at all. I'll definitely take that. And also, I do have another email from an online offer where if I spend $8,000 on the Hilton Inspire by the end of February 2022, and I'll try to pop that up on the screen here, then I will be able to get a free night certificate with $8,000 spend before that time period. So it works out really, really well for me. A $300 credit is awesome. It essentially brings the annual fee down to $150 for the Hilton Aspire card, which doesn't happen very often. So I'm very excited about that. If you have any questions about retention offers or you know what kind of language to use when you're trying to get one, let me know down in the comments. And also let me know what kind of retention offers you've gotten on any particular cards. Keep in mind, we have a lot of new people in the Points and Miles community that are watching these videos. So leave those down in the comments because people want to know 
what cards have retention offers, which ones do not, and what kind of offers are out there as well. It's all helpful information. I would love to hear from any of you. And let me know if you think there's something I should have done different when I was on my retention offer call. And you know what? Always have a bourbon whenever you're making your retention calls. That's really helpful. It puts you in a good mood. Uh, unless you have like 30 different credit cards like I do at that point, then you're probably having too much bourbon through the year, but that's a whole other story altogether. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful or entertaining, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. And when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, click, click, click. It's going to be time to check in on everything related to credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, retention offers, bourbon, and everything in between. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode. See you soon.